seeing as they sent us the right parts. Take this off. You take this one off and you want to leave the Jubilee clips on there but loose, tight, tight enough that they won't fall off but loose enough so you can actually get the pipes out. You can maneuver it around. Alright, so we're going to change the shifter down there. So first thing you need a pair of pliers. First thing is a clip down here. Down there. You just want to take that one off. Just get a pair of pliers. If you have needle nose it's better. Lift it up a little bit and then it will slide off. A bit awkward with these pliers because they're quite hen. Did you see where that went? We need that piece. So it fell in the under tray. So you just give your under tray a bit of a beating like that. It's like what? Like that. It's a very small angle, but if you just whack it, it will just jump down. So this is the little clip. So with your pliers, you just lift this bit up. It's got like a little pin in there. Just lift it up, and then normally you can just slide it off like that. The gear selector thingy. This. That gear selected. Pull it off oh. on the side for now. And then you need 13 mil. I think it's 13. If not, I'll edit it out so I sound like a genius. Just a long bit all the way there. The eBay seller was really good, so he gave me the wrong size pin and he didn't give me a nut initially. But it was very quick. I messaged him over the weekend or her. It's Tuesday now. He said he'll send off another part on Monday and we got it today. If you're doing this for the first time, this nut, you want to screw back on by hand, about three or four turns. Get a hammer or something, just whack it a few times. I just use the back of the ratchet, which is bad, or the side, which is bad practice, but still. So now if you look down there, that bolt or pin is sitting in like a spline. So some people call it double torques or whatever you call it. It's a spline, but it's basically 12 bits. So you've got to sort of wiggle it out and pull it up at the same time. Don't wiggle it too much because if you do this, which I did the other day, I got my finger trapped in there as it did that. When you can push it up and down, it's in neutral. You Apparently, you want to install a new bit when it's in neutral. So, pull it up, move it around. I found if you can get your hands in both sides, then do it. There. Now it's off. It's only very easy because I did this the other day and put it back in just enough. But you can see the state of it. This pin isn't removable, it's the factory one. Um, but yeah, so there's loads of grease in there, which is where it actually slides along. Alright, so on your new one, you want to install it similar. So put them next to each other. You can see it's wider there, um, but the distance between this and that is actually shorter. So, on this new one, it's gonna sit the same position. If you put this bolt, which has a nut on the other end, it's a ny nylock nut or whatever. So it's really, it's a bit awkward. I have to put the nut in, because you can't twist the nut. You see, it sits in there. And then he had to twist from- Well, from use a spanner. Yeah. Use a spanner to do, tighten that. So, further to the left, is a longer throw distance so when you're changing gears more distance first second third fourth fifth sixth and vice versa to the right is shorter um we did it near the edge i think i did it as far as i could over because i wanted short shifts um some people said it feels notchy where it's like clunky but i don't mind i want a shorter shift assembly grease i think is the best but again most people have said it doesn't really matter so down here see this little doohickey right there that is where this part sits in and that's why you need to grease it because it's constantly moving like I showed you so you want to sort of if it's here you want to put it like that and then put the rest of it down if you put it straight down the selector what you call it is going to be up here and it's going to be out and you're going to start breaking stuff so pop it in like that and then flatten it and just get it to all line up So you're going to see it's not in line straight away. There we go. So now it's on that little bush thingy. It's on that. 
it's sitting in there, which is good. And then you line up the spline afterwards and just slot it in place. Yeah, sort of there. So then you put the nut on if you need some help aligning it. Again, only by hand or you will cross. Uh, let me bring you here and tell you guys a secret hill. He didn't drop it that far. <laughs> So these are bad practices, this is what you should not be doing. Here's the piece, Hopefully yeah, I've, I've given it to him, in, it's I've in his hands, you can see it's in his hands guys. I've done it a few turns, so now you can start tightening it, don't over tighten, if you feel resistance, just stop for a sec, reseat it, you don't want to cross with this, it feels good. As I'm tightening it, I can see it and feel it going down. It's just seating into position nicely. Then, everything should line up. Um, get your gear selector, slot it on the new pin, which actually fits this time. Now this clip, you just set it on. See that pin there? It goes into here, in there, and you just slide it. Perfect. So, it slid on there. Bit more there, and you can see when it's on properly. You see the little pin hole, uh, the top of the pin, or the pin head, haha, <laughs> uh, just popping through a little bit there. So that's that done. Yeah, it's not seated properly. Pin. So. My neutral is down there. So I made the mistake. I installed it, not in the neutral position. Reseat it in the neutral position and then all right good. so while he does that i'm just really quickly going to pop to loo and then we'll be back okay so uh i just got back gopro he said he's already done it so yeah. this so, is in neutral first push it down and then from left all the way left no. and then up Yeah, because the load of it is covered in oil and grease, we're keeping it on separate. So, 